for all your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks of Blu-ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B-L-U-B-E-R-R-Y, Prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions, or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENC, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip-hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, illstreetrex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech, and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it. Get it. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Bossman Radio Show, covering sports and entertainment across the country. Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's your man, JC, the host with the most, baby, and it goes down each and every Saturday night right here in the city of Memphis. That's right, y'all. It goes down at Clicks Sports Bar Memphis, baby. 3705 Malco Way, Memphis, Tennessee, 38125. Come out and join us, the Three Kings, each and every Saturday night for the liveest karaoke in the city. Everybody gets in free till 10 p.m., only $5 after. Great food. We got drink specials. We got all kind of games, man. We got the pool tables popping. Whatever you want, we got you, man. Come on out. Have a good time with us each and every Saturday night. That's Clicks Sports Bar, Memphis. the JR the Boss Man Show, and as promised, uh, we're joined by a coach out of the A Sun in his fifth year at the Little Bisons up there in Nashville, Tennessee. They compete against Kansas All State here in the A Sun, as I was mentioned previously. It's the Coach Casey Alexander in the Boss Man Show. Coach Alexander, how are this thing with the Lipscomb Bisons as you get ready to play your first game against Emory on Saturday up there at Lipscomb Allen's Arena on Friday? Right? So far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. We're, we're uh, 
we're ready to turn the page, get the season started, you know, and uh, once you get going, it feels like you never slow down, but that's what, uh, that's what we're here for. It's what we worked all year for, so it's a good time. Yes, sir. And, Coach, as you said, for you, you used your fifth year at Lipscomb going your fifth year there. So, for you, Coach, being year five, getting able to establish your program, establish your foundation, for you, what's been your most pro- most confident thing in your mind for us, the guys you brought in your program, since the program from 2013 to where it is now? What's been like the most confident, make you feel the best about yourself, knowing how you built this program the way it is today? Well, I mean, I love the guys in our program. You know, I mean, there's, there's nothing that can replace – uh, the head coach sitting down with a with a recruit and his family and laying out a vision and saying, here's where we're going to go and here's what we're going to do. And those guys saying, hey, coach, I believe in that and I want to be a part of it. You know, and when you and when you take over a program, it takes a while to fill a, to fill your roster of guys that have seen that and and buy into it and take ownership of it. But that's where we are now. You know, and you know, last year we won 20 games for the first time in a good while. We finished second in the league. Uh, with the best conference winning percentage we've had in our D1 era, you know, and now we return a great nucleus from that team. So times are good. We got plenty of work to do, and you know, nothing, nobody, nobody's going to give us anything. But our expectations are at a place where they haven't been before, which is, which is great, and that's where you want them to be as the head coach. And coach, like I said, come off a 21 season last year, coach. So what did you and your staff prioritize for the guys coming back this season to make make them the better players throughout the spring and summer and preseason workouts here? Well, you know, we, we've talked a lot about as good as that was. You know, we still haven't accomplished anything. You know, I mean, that's it's nice to win three games. It's nice to finish second. It's nice to have a great winning percentage and so forth. But it's not nearly as good as finishing first and winning championships and going to the NCAA tournament and, and all the things that Lipscomb hasn't done before. So there's a whole lot out there for us still to accomplish. Uh, our guys are still really hungry and, and really eager uh, to keep improving. You know, and what we want is just some sustained excellence. You know, we don't want to be – we don't want to have a good season here and there. We want to be we want to be in the top one, two, three of our league every year and playing for championships every year and being at the top of the standings every year. And if you do that often enough, then you're going to give yourself a chance to win championships. We're joined by Lipscomb and Coach Alexander New Austin, man, showing his fifth year at Lipscomb going into it, guys. Check them out up in Nashville. And you'll see them at Kennesaw State on January 6th as well down here in Kennesaw. So folks, please check out the Lipscomb Bisons. They'll be good to watch this season. Now, Coach, looking at your roster now, man, now you have a good mix of older guys and young guys. And that's what you kind of want in recruiting now. A lot of older guys who can help the younger guys come along to the program, help keep it going, turn it over in a positive light, not we full of young guys or you got to JUCO guys in and out. So, you like how your roster's built so far this year, Coach? Yeah, I do. I think we've got a really good balance from class to class to class. I think we have really good balance across the lineup when you look at depth at each position, you know, and so uh, really pleased with where we stand uh, right there, you know, and I think that's. I think when you you mentioned like the freshmen, for example, I think we got some good freshmen, but uh, you know I think the mark of a good program is when you have when you don't have to have those guys come in and be difference makers. You know when you've got good established veteran guys in your program year after year after year, and the freshmen and the new guys got to come in and kind of earn their keep. And so that's where we are right now, um, and I'm pleased with that. Especially at your coach, me major level, it's it's good to get old and be old. Cause if you're old, sure. you can compete with some of those uh, how many teams who are very young. Because being 22, 20, 23, it's like it's better than being 18, 19. It's a big difference. But you don't see like this real difference in there. playing those tough games. They're used to pressure, used to being in situations. Young guys may tense up. Having an older team, you can fight those yeah. tough times and get the, get the job done in the second half of games. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and we're we're returning over 200 career starts to this year's lineup, you know, so we've got a lot of guys that have started a lot of games. Uh, we're returning over 80% of our scoring from last season, over 80% of our minutes played from last season, all of the good team. Uh, and quite honestly, a lot of those guys uh, there aren't even seniors, you know, so I think it's going to be the case for the next couple of years. Um, you know, and if we keep doing our job in recruiting, it'll be the, it'll be the case for a long time. Now, Coach, who are some guys specifically you want to highlight for our listeners here who they need to watch out for this year on your team who will be playing big roles for you guys when they see you play Kennesaw State across the A's and non conference yeah. Who are some guys you want to highlight for us, our listeners, to keep an eye on for you? Yeah, well, in the Atlantic Sun, there are there are only three players that were all-conference players last year that are returning this year, and we have two of them. 
Uh, Brandon Goodwin at Florida Gulf Coast, who's a preseason player of the year, is one. And then the other two guys play for us. Garrison Matthews, who's a junior and was a 20-point-plus scorer last year, really talented, really tough kid, great size on the perimeter. And then Rob Marbury, who's also a junior, uh, who's an undersized five-man, but extremely skilled and scores it great inside, makes a lot of good things happen for us on offense. So those are the two guys that everybody else is talking about. Um, yeah, but we got a lot of guys that contribute on that end of the floor. And, and Coach, you got to say I've you got two games coming up against here, Emory and Moorhead State. Now, are you going to use games maybe not front up your rotations or get some feel for the younger yeah. guys, a little, a little bit of both, or are you just trying to get these guys, just get, getting you against go-go for all, all good and blazing day one to get them for Texas coming up, and you have Alabama uh-huh. as well. So how are you going to plan on using these two games you got coming up here at home on a Friday and then on Sunday the 12th there? Well, I've got I've got enough respect for both teams that we're going to go into both games with all guns blazing. You know, we got you know every game is an opportunity to get better. There's no ta- doubt about that. And, you know, even though Emory is one of our non-division one opponents, you know they're really they're always nationally ranked team that wins a lot of games. And <clears throat> so I've got plenty of respect for them. Morehead State is a good OVC team, finished in the top third of that league last year. So you know we're just going to go into those games. and we got two at home to start with, and you know, with the full expectation that we're going to play well and win. But we're going to—we you know, know they're not going to be easy. We know we've got work to do because we do have a long, long road trip after that. We play six out of our next seven after that on the road, and actually thirteen out of our next sixteen on the road. So we need to get these games at home while we can. And you're right. It's nothing good having an older team coach because I had those road games. I'm trying to say 16 games on the road, man. That For a young team, that can make them go bonkers and kind of lose some confidence. We have more <laughs> older guys that you said already. Yeah, I don't have anybody to blame my, for my, but myself. I, I'm a schedule maker, so uh, somebody <laughs> needs to be, uh, if anybody <laughs> needs to be shot down for it, it's me. But, yeah, I mean, and out of those, uh, all of those road games, you mentioned Alabama. We've got Texas. We've got uh, Purdue. We've got – Tennessee, we've got at Belmont, who's a great mid-major program at Navy. So you know we've got we've got a real challenge just to survive non-conference play. Uh, but I do think the prep, you know, it'll prepare us well for a conference play when that time comes around. Now, coach, I saw on your schedule a lot of teams in the Nashville area that you're playing. So I want to ask you how important it is for you guys, at Lipscomb, to have rivalries with those teams in the area, such as Tennessee States, uh, such as the Fisk, if you want to play them, Tennessee State, Texas, yeah. those teams in Belmont. So how important is it for you to ha- have a rivalry and relationship with those teams to kind of get the, get the community juice up about local basketball military and see up there? Yeah, it makes too much sense, you know, for us to play those games. You know, there, there are enough teams – you know, within a you know hundred mile radius, that we can get a lot of games in, and where it's very natural that people in Nashville are familiar with those names and might have an interest in the game, and you know, and can build some. Even though it's non-conference, we can build some rivalry. So we'll keep doing that. Uh, you know, and, and the, our games with TSU have been great. Our games with Tennessee Tech have been great. We played Austin P up until this year. You know, Fisk is another one of our non-division one opponents, so we're happy to. Happy to give them a chance to play a Division One game and and earn and make a little money in the process. And so, and then our Belmont games, you know, we've always played them twice, and we always will. So, uh, it's it's budget friendly, you know, the AD and the mission like that because you're not traveling too far. They're all day trips, uh, but it's also great for fans because they can see you at home or on the road. Get there, right, coach? You're listening to Ace. I talk this all the time when I talk about Kansas State, and like I thought, Ace is a great conference for basketball. A lot of people don't really receive it because you all don't have a TV deal. So for the fans who don't really get to see you guys or only see your scores on ESPN or whatever, could you share with them the depth of the league and how good the league really is as a whole? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, and a lot of people, a lot of people first really. I mean, Belmont was was kind of the first, you know, nationally named, you know, mid major team in our league, but they left. But then Gulf Coast took it to a whole new level. Florida Gulf Coast, you know, in Dunk City with their Sweet 16 run a few years ago, and then Mercer followed that up with a first round win over Duke. And so we got a lot of attention from that. But our league is strong. Uh, you know, I think the you know the biggest public perception problem with our league is is our footprint is so large you know we've got four teams in florida we got teams in georgia south carolina tennessee you know it looks more like the sec as far as the geographical footprint so it's hard for mid-major fans and media to really get a good firm grip on you know what the league looks like and so we battle that a lot but 
I'll put our league up against any of the mid-major team leagues in the South, the OVC, the Southern, the Big South team, uh, the SWAT, you know, <clears throat> conferences like that. And I think we go toe with any of those guys any day. Now, Coach, I'll tell Jamie a little, a little negative about me, Coach. Uh, Liscom has a special place in my heart because – that's where my mother went from in 1972, <laughs> Coach. So, believe it or not, I still get Lipscomb literature in my doorstep in the mail. So, because that's where my mother went. So, I must tell you, Coach, I do look for Lipscomb scores because I know that I don't my my mother. I want to Tennessee State myself, but that's my, yeah. that's my my mother. I always make sure I check on the scores of Lipscomb because generally she was school and she loves her Bisons. She's purple and, and gold forever. Yeah. So, so I saw a coach. I would tell you, you're a fan of me, but you probably know that. But because of my mother, I always make sure to make sure I check on Lipscomb, see what you guys are doing basketball wise. Because I know that's her, that's her university is her favorite team. She wanted me to go there, but I, I bucked the system and didn't go. But she, she, she still loves me anyway. Well, you coach. know, the door's always open for you. It's never too late to make the right decision. So anytime you want to cross on over and leave the big blue and come on over. To the good side, we'll uh, we'll welcome you with open arms. But listen, a great place. It's probably a lot different than it was back in your mom's day. Uh, but it's it, it was a great place then. It's a great place now. I'm really happy to be the coach there. And coach, I'm gonna tell you, when she saw how the campus was over there. She she showed me. I'm like, yeah, I see. <laughs> like it's it's definitely grown since she because she she's telling me about the old days of Don Meyer. And, <laughs> you know, so she was telling me all the old stories. You know, yeah. she even knew Coach Bird when it was the N- NAIA. So it was like <laughs> she she knows she knows her sport. So she would tell me about this. Like she goes, she go to Lipscomb. Now. You'll get a discount. I went there. I was like, there you go. I was like there you go. <laughs> I was, but you know, her, I was, I was wrong headed. She live in Nashville. Where is she? Uh, she lives in Madison, actually, Coach. Okay. Right yeah. up there. Right Tell up there her to look us up. Come over to a game. Tell her to yell at me. I'd love to meet her. Yes, indeed, Coach. Every time I'm in town to visit, I'm try, I'll, I'll try to get her to come to a game when you play Kennesaw State. It'll yeah. be a perfect game on the 22nd of February, man, to get her to come out there. You can meet her and, you know, shake her hand because she's been on one, one, she's been on Lipscomb all through this is my whole life, you know. She that always sounds good. Tell I me think about that's our last game, of the, last game of the regular season. So, uh, hopefully, yes, we're, sir. hopefully we're showing up at the conference championship that night. She can celebrate with us. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed, Coach. Hey, I guess it's so. Nick, Coach, I'm going to tell you, you got my word. Hey, if I can make it happen, I will, man. Cause like I said, I know she, my mom loves the Lipscomb Bison. She's happy I'll have you on the show. So, oh, you have it on my coach. About time you show up. <laughs> <laughs> coach, you still so, so understand what I hear from my mother about this. So, it's, like, it's like, yes, yes, mom. They'll I'm give it, to you. They'll give it yeah. to you whether you want it or not. You know what I mean? That's just the way my mom You got process. that right, Coach. And most of the time, we need it, so. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. She's like, I hope you're not champion for Kennesaw State, are you? I'm like, I have relations with them because I'm, I'm a media member here, but don't mean I'm a champion. <laughs> <laughs> you better chip for our high school. I'll let you get away to the TSU, but you better chip for the vice team. It's us, right? Yes, hey, Mom. Keep <laughs> you probably will keep working. Sooner or later, we'll get you. We'll get you to cross over. Yes, indeed, Coach. Yes, indeed. Say, hey, all good to have you show, Coach. Good best luck to you, Coach. We'll see you real soon, Sounds man. Sounds great. Thanks for having me on. Enjoyed it. All right, folks, get us there on the Boss Man Show. All your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B L U B E R R Y, prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. 
Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENT, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip-hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech, and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Boss Man Radio Show, covering sports and entertainment across the country. Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's your man, JC, the host with the most, baby, and it goes down each and every Saturday night right here in the city of Memphis. That's right, y'all. It goes down at Clicks Sports Bar Memphis, baby. 3705 Malco Way, Memphis, Tennessee, 38125. Come out and join us, the Three Kings, each and every Saturday night for the livest karaoke in the city. Everybody gets in free till 10 p.m., only $5 after. Great food. We got drink specials. We got all kind of games, man. We got the pool tables popping. Whatever you want, we got you, man. Come on out. Have a good time with us each and every Saturday night. That's Clicks Sports Bar, Memphis. Yeah. 